All right, guys, uh, looks like we're live. So let me go ahead and get the uh, the PC up here so I can see the, the chat. And uh, we'll go ahead and get rolling. So let me get this put up here somehow so that you guys can see me. see what we got here. Got seven on. Give it another minute or two and then we can start the tour. So let's see who we've got. I uh, got Dan Slee, uh, Denny's Fish Tanks. Uh, Candy's here. Thank you, Candy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Big D Smoke. How's it going? Uh, Brian P. Keith Bordley. So uh, like we got a pretty good group here. So uh, Pam's here as well. Sorry about that. Uh, Josh Jack is uh, go Vanderbilt. I don't could care less. Uh, Michigan baseball is kind of eh, whatever. So, all right, got ten got ten on now. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll go ahead and start the uh, full barn tour. So we're gonna start actually with the upstairs and then uh, head and uh, go ahead and turn around and we'll head on downstairs. So uh, let's go ahead and get rolling. Just muted you guys. All right. So let's turn around. And we'll start with the first tank here. Uh, this is kind of a uh, catch-all tank. This is the uh, Mutt Guppy, Mutt Swordtail, um, Mutt Random Fish Tank. So there's some Swordtails here. See these guys right here. Um, got a actually got some catfish in here too. Got some koi doris. Uh, there's a rainbow fish, uh, Melanotania goiter river. Actually, I just lost the other one, um, so I only got one of these left. Uh, there is um, a few random cichlids in here. So that is a Swedish hongai. And then um, there's a white skirt tetra that I picked up at an auction. And there's a black skirt as well. It's over here. So I picked those up at the uh, one of the club meetings. And then uh, heading down over here, uh, we've got the Gudea atropinus. Uh, these are called the Black Fin Gideon. So, what does that faucet handle in the tank for? Um, oh, okay. <clears throat> so this is the auto water change, which actually just ran. So this pipe right here is the auto water change. So that controls the flow for each of the tanks. So that's the, uh, so it goes all the way around here, all the way to the back, and then it's, there's actually a pump down in the basement. So, uh, so if you see here, um, same here, like same thing back here, Pam, if, like right back here, this pipe right here. Uh, if you can see it, it's right there. Same thing. And then uh, we'll just get back to these guys real quick. Uh, these guys are the Gudea Atropinus. Uh, these guys have done pretty well for me. So they've uh, had these guys since Aquashella. Uh, I've got six of them. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them in here. <laughs> Pam, it's funny. So you can see some more fry in the back. So once we start the club back up in August, um, I'm going to go ahead and fish the... Uh, 10 of these out and we'll go ahead and uh, get some BAP credit for them. Uh, Anthony's Fishy Friends is here. How's it going? Uh, Mr. B was here, is here as well. Uh, thank you for sharing it out, Mr. B. All right, next take we're going to go to over here. Uh, this is the Trout Gideads. So these, um, there's, there's three of them in here. And these guys uh, 
Hey, Anthony. I've never gotten fry out of these. I've had these guys for over a year now, and haven't got really anything out of them. So we'll see how it happens. I don't know if they're eating them or uh, what's going on, but uh, that's uh, that's what's going on there. All right, going down to the bottom here. Uh, this is the uh, Zenitoka Lion's Eye. Uh, picked these up at Aquashella as well. Um, they're very made. They're very well, maybe some fry in this as well. I just don't see it yet. Um, but uh, these guys are doing pretty well. So I uh, just want to do a check real quick. Is the video and everything good on this? Uh, this is the first time I've used the Streamlabs app on my phone. So I want to see how this is doing. All right, so we're going to head to the next tank here. These are the Krakadon Lateralis. So, got some, uh, some of these guys here. So I picked these up from uh, Slippery Fish Aquatics. Uh, do have a few fry in here from these guys as well. Uh, these are some of my, uh, um, this plant is, um, I think it's a Ponageaton Crispus. Um, it's actually flowered. So let me go ahead here. So this is the flower right here. So I'll pull this out and show it to you guys. So that's the flower right there. So this is actually flowered. So, hey, can Queen Cichlids, how's it going? So that's the flower. So this plant's actually flowered. Um, this plant over here is uh, Pogo Stem and Gai. Uh, so this is a uh, uh, kind of similar to the uh, Pogo Stem and Stellatus octopus. Uh, it's a little, I guess I'll call it frillier than that plant, but um, it's done pretty well in here as well. And then uh, we're going to head down here to the next, sorry about that guys. Uh, Vinovsky Tank is here. So these are the Scyphia Multipunctata. Um, if you can see here, and I'm going to cover up Pat's number, but uh, we do have a collection point from these guys. So these guys are from uh, Lago de Camacuaro, uh, which is in Mexico. So, but uh, these guys are looking pretty good. And this is another species that's done pretty well for me. So I've got quite a few fish from this. This group. So this is another one I'll be taking in for BAP. So next we're gonna go around here to the uh, Lelupis. Uh, we saw these uh, a couple videos ago. So uh, these are some of my favorites actually. These guys do pretty well. So uh, they're kind of fun to watch actually. Have them. Uh, just kind of watch them dart around. Kind of fun little fish, actually. So I'll kind of follow them over here. Uh, these guys are in a 55. So, all right. Uh, we're going to go over here. And now we're on the upstairs, right? So these are a lot of the breeding tanks. So just to let you guys know. All right. So now this one here is the uh, Krakadon Audax, uh, which is the Black Prince Gadeid. Uh, picked that up uh, in May, so uh, still uh, kind of waiting to grow these guys out. So there's, uh, I believe there's six of them in here somewhere, but uh, I have a location on these guys as well. They're from El Toboso. So, oh, thank you, Ken Queen Cichlids. I appreciate it. All right, we're gonna head to the next 15-gallon uh, tank over here, and these guys are gonna be hard to find. Uh, these are the Golden Teddies. Uh, they're Xenophallus umbralis. I just messed that up bad. Um, where are they? They're, well, there's one right there. So if you look through the snail, there is one in there. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
but uh, there's one golden teddy. There's uh, four of those guys in here. So, all right, uh, we're head down to the bottom here. Let me flip this over a little bit so that uh, it gets the uh, angles a little bit better. All right, we're down here now. So these are the uh, Limia Vitata. I uh, picked these up in May as well. Uh, there's a pair of these guys. So. So uh, definitely these guys are looking pretty good. And then uh, that tank's a little bit green at the moment. Um, this is one of my favorite tanks. I got to clean it though. Is um, I was trying to get all of these guys cleaned uh, before uh, we did this, and looks like I missed one. But these are the Amica Splendens. So this guy got some Jungle Val uh, Dragonstone in here. So there's one of them right there. That's the male. There's another male right there. So. All right, we're going to head over to this one. This tank, I'm leaving um, algified. Uh, so, you know, hopefully I can get some fry from these. There's two female uh, Xenotoka Aizenai in here. And literally just wanted to, you know, keep all this algae in here so the fry have somewhere to hide from the parents. Uh, these guys have dropped a couple times. So, wanted to uh, make sure these guys, uh, you know, they kind of lived on. All right, so the next tank here, I'm gonna extend this slightly, is the, uh, these guys are the Gerard and Thickness, Gerard and Thickness Multiradiatus. So these are um, Coldweller Gadeid. Uh, these actually were discovered under ice uh, in Mexico in the mountains. So as you can see, there's the male. Unfortunately, I lost the female uh, literally right after I did the video, but uh, thankfully, um, thankfully I do have quite a few fry in here so I can keep these guys going. It's another fish I'm going to look to uh, do some BAP with. So let's go ahead now and we'll head up to the next tank. So the next tank here is going to be the, uh, Scythia Francese. This is another, uh, another one of the Gadean species. Uh, this one has done pretty well for me as well. Have quite a few fry in here for these guys. So I think that, that's the male right there. And then there's some fry in here as well. Uh, just to show you kind of, this one's a hard place to film because there's just like this little space right here. So I gotta kind of turn it and kind of film it as we go. And then uh, we'll go here through the uh, rest of the barn here. All right, on to the next, uh, on to the next tank we'll flip this back up all right so this tank has nothing in it right now but i am going to put the uh, goodia atropinus uh, back in it once we get back from vacation so uh so we'll get that uh taken care of once we get back it's kind of too close to vacation right now uh to really start moving stuff around all right so the next tank uh, here are the uh, Pundamilia nairi, um, along with one rogue, um, uh, what is that, uh, purple ACI. But uh, these guys have been doing pretty awesome, um, even though there's like, I think there's literally like 18 males in here. So uh, let's see if we can find the dominant male. He's in the back. I just saw him. So there's, uh, I think that's the subdominant right there. And then. Oh, yeah, the uh, Ponagate and Alvacious. I'll go back to that in just a second, Candy. So there's, I think that's the dominant male right there. So he's the uh, dominant one. And then uh, there's a few others that are kind of colored up too. So there's quite a few uh, Victorians. Yes, these are Victorians. So, and then there's there are some females in here. And this random purple ACI that came from the next tank over really uh, kind of just... Uh, I think he kind of made himself at home and kind of just chilling in here. Yeah, so this is the uh, Ponagate and Alvacious right here, Pam, or not Pam, Candy. 
And this one's flowered as well. So let me show you guys that. So, so there's another flower from the uh, the Ponagit Novacious. So yeah, unfortunately, Scott, I don't have a location on these guys, but uh, um, but they are uh, Pundit Millie and Nairi. So when I got them at the auction, they didn't have a. Uh, so uh, there's a couple other Victorians too. So we'll get to those. Uh, there's one coming up after this tank and there's one, uh, I think there's one or two others downstairs. Um, we do, and I gotta read the rules on the HAP program. So, all right, so this is the kind of like the mixed African tank. Um, so this has a few peacocks in it. So there's a, uh, an OB. Um, it was this was a blue cobalt. I'm sure it has about eight different names. Um, there's a bunch of purple ACI. Um, there were a bunch of yellow labs in here as well, uh, which you can see. There's a, still some fry in here uh, that are out in the pond. Which, if it's still light out, maybe we'll go check the pond out. And then uh, if we go over to the next tank, uh, these are the uh, zebra obliquidens. So I start out with four of these guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of a I'm more of a uh, fish nerd. Um, plants are filtration, <laughs> but uh, these are the uh, what are these? Oh, zebra obliquidens. I uh, started out with four of these guys, um, and now we've gotten you know, and I've sold about ten of these off or so um, at the last uh, club meeting, but still have quite a few fish. So. Yeah, I'm not much of a plant guy, Candy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I like plants, but I'm not like the garden type of thing. Like, I'm not like a Joel or a Bentley where like, I keep them and I keep the easy ones. And they're not, as you can see, they're really not aquascaped that well. They're just kind of here for for cover and for um, you know, line of sight blocks. Like, I really like Valisneria for... Uh, <laughs> So I use this for like Linus, like, like these, a lot of my cichlid tanks, I do use Valisneria. I know it's not that common, but um, like this provides a good line of sight block. Um, if you can see back in the back here, that female is holding back there. So uh, she'll probably spit either in some of the rocks or back in that Joanne Fabrics mat, which is uh, which is good to uh, for a lot of the fry to live in. So that's kind of one of the little strategies I've used to try to raise, um, to try to raise up some of the uh, African cichlids in here, like colony breeding, so I don't have to use like 15 different tanks. So let's uh, spin around here and uh, finish up the upstairs. So uh, this tank, we're not going to see any fish. Um, well, we might. Hold on. Right over here, we're going to go slow. Is a Neolamprologus brevis sunspot, and he went right back in his shell. Um, there are some. Uh, uh, Cyprochromus leptosoma maplungu in here somewhere as well. Um, that mat, Denny, is you just buy it at Joanne Fabrics. Um, it's just like a plant mat. Um, hold on, let me show you some right here. So this is just a mat, like this plant, this is plastic plants. So basically this is just a mat you can buy anywhere. Um, and you, you just um, stick it in the bottom. And uh, the, the cichlids will spit the fry in there, and the fry can kind of hang out and hide, away, hide from the parents. All right, so let's head over here. So uh, this is the um, uh, Chindongo de Masoni. Uh, there's a group of them in here. So uh, there are a few small little fry in here as well. So uh, these guys are just kind of hanging out in here, um, doing pretty well. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys the famous heater fish. Yeah. Um, how many feet? Um, it's a one and a half car garage with two stories, um, Scott. So it's like 10 by four, or it's 20 by 14. So that's uh, uh, 140. That's, yeah, that's right. No, 1,400. 
Sorry, 1400 it's late. Um, and then there's a second story. With, that's where we're at right now is the second floor. All right, so the uh, next fish we've got here are the um, uh, Snowflake Ocellaris Clownfish. And I've not, I think they still have got some eggs in there. I, I can't zoom in here to see. Um, there is some cyanoalgae in this tank. So these, so this group here, um, it's just kind of interesting that there's three of them in here. Uh, but this is, uh, there's two Ocellaris, uh, black Ocellaris snowflakes in here. And then uh, this uh, Trisync just jumped the tank and ended up in here. He's actually gonna get moved out of here pretty soon. Uh, next tank we're gonna go over to is the uh, the uh, Bisynctus clowns. These are the spot synctus variety. Uh, you can see the spotting on them. Uh, never gotten these to spawn, but uh, these guys have been a pair. They've been in here for two years now. Uh, one of my favorite fish we're going to come up to next is the Lightning Maroon. Uh, I've never found a mate for it. Um, I would probably need to put it in a bigger tank at this point. But uh, one of my favorites, uh, you know, I've actually met the person who uh, bred the first one. So pretty cool, it's pretty cool to see. Uh, next tank over here, and he's, you actually will be able to see him for once, is the uh, Fire Clown that's in the back. Another one of my... Uh, one of my favorites, uh, heading to the, this is uh, Picasso in here that I've got to find another one for. And then uh, this is my tomato. And there are some eggs in there, I think. You, we're not gonna be able to see them. This camera won't pick it up. Maybe you can, they're like right in the back. But uh, those are the tomato clowns. And then uh, heading right next to it, uh, Valley Fish is here. How's it going? Uh, so we've got the Santa Maria Endlers. Um, so here are a lot of the fry. Um, I got these from Dan at Dan's Fish. Um, let's find the male. Where is he at? Um, so the females are in the back. If you look in the back, uh, there's the females. And there's the male right there. Hold on, I missed him. There's, there's the male Santa Maria right there. So uh, this is a 20 gallon, uh, 20 gallon high, which is like one of my favorite tank sizes. Uh, heading on to the next tank here. Uh, this is, yeah, I'm live streaming from my phone, uh, Scott. So I'm using Streamlabs to do so since I don't have the thousand subscribers. So uh, you can do it from your phone using the Streamlabs app. And then uh, these are uh, the turquoise guppies. Um, got these from Dan's Fish as well. And you can see there's quite a few fry in here. And then heading to the next tank, uh, these are some cobra endlers. Uh, got them at the same time. Uh, hey, 44 Mag Guy One, how's it going? So um, again, these are some fry in here for these guys as well. So these guys are all doing pretty well. So we're gonna head downstairs. Um, it's very, very dusk out, but we'll try to take a look at the pond. So you got the uh, air conditioner. Um, got some pictures as we go down here. That's from Jimmy. And we'll head out to the pond real quick. And then we'll go ahead and uh, finish up the downstairs part. So we are heading outside in the dark, sort of. So, you know, so you guys don't ever get to see the outside. So we'll take you guys out to the front of the barn. So this is the building itself. Thanks, uh, thanks Scott. So we've got the uh, downstairs section here and then uh, Basically, then you have the upstairs section right there. And then, so basically the story of this building is when they built that building, they, uh, they basically, this was the old, we'll go back this way again. This was the old garage. So 
Uh, they moved it to the backyard instead of like tearing it down. So that's how the fish burn came to be. So let's go ahead and we'll head into the pond real quick and then we'll go back inside. So this is the garden. So my daughter's got the garden over here. And then I shut off the uh, the pump so you guys can see a little bit. Um, so she's got some tomatoes in here. Yeah, so she's got some tomatoes. She's got some beans. So this is her first year out here. And let's see. Yeah, fortunately, I don't know how much we're going to see because it's dark. So let's try this. So let's see if we can see any fish. No, they have all. So it looks like all the guppies and stuff headed to, headed to the bottom. And maybe you guys can catch a glimpse of some of the Africans in there. So, so that's that. So kind of a fun view, as you can see, uh, kind of inside from here. So, let me lock this up so we don't have any critters come in here. And we'll head back in the barn and we'll do the uh, second part. <clears throat> so, as you walk into the barn, so this is the uh, 245 gallon saltwater tank. So, right now we've got uh pearl, they don't like the pearl scale butterfly uh pakistani butterfly and a uh, raffles butterfly in there so there is definitely some more in the works <laughs> hey chris how's it going so uh so yeah so if you guys uh want to check it out uh, go ahead and check out Chris's channel. He live streams about an hour before I do. So uh, go ahead and check that out. Uh, you see the butterfly fish. And then uh, we're going to go ahead here. Let me grab the door. And so this tank uh, basically are some uh, half black, any other color guppies. Um, AC. Yep. So there's the AC right there. You see the AC right there. And then uh, right here is the heat. So this is called an FUH54. So uh, that's why we used to heat it in the winter. We are in Michigan. Um, it is cold uh, in the in winter anyway. Uh, so we'll go ahead to the next guppy tanks here. Uh, this is the Gold Delta Trio. Uh, which obviously has fry now, but uh, so definitely uh, cool looking in, uh, gold delta guppies. Yeah, it's F U H fifty four. Yeah, no, it's I, I kind of laugh at it, Scott, because it's you know it's gonna be it's one of those things where it's gonna be like, like, like F U H. You don't have any more heat, kind of thing, and then. Uh, the next tank here are some Xenotone, sorry, Xenotania Rosalane, which are, no, not I didn't, Chris, or Cichlids 23, sorry. <laughs> no, I always think of that, Chris, like I usually think it's like FU54, but it's FUH54. So, uh, but these guys... Um, another one of the Gadead species. I uh, got these actually from Jeremy at Sergeant Tanks. Uh, and then uh, going down here, um, this tank's going to be set up when we get back from vacation. And you won't be able to see it right now, but it's a 40 breeder. And then uh, we're going to head across here. Uh, this is the South American tank. <laughs> um, I get demonetized for the zero money I make, I guess. So uh, this is the South American tank. 
Uh, hey, Friday Fish Facts, how's it going? So, uh, I've got some uh, Geophagus Hecali. Um, got um, the Random Angel Fish. I've uh, got a couple of Red Shoulder Severums, which are wild caught from the uh, Rio Nene. Uh, those came from uh, Pleco Paradise. Uh, there's a couple of other smaller um, <clears throat> smaller Severums in here as well, uh, Red Shoulders as well. Uh, there's some HY511 Tetras, and there is a, um, a Pleco in there as well. It's a, a Red uh, it's a, a Green Dragon Pleco. So, oh, so Ron's going in 30 minutes? Okay, I'll make sure to get off then, Ron. So... But, uh, yeah, so this is a South American tank. This is a 150-gallon plywood tank uh, that I made. So, um, I'm not going to really say much about this next tank because it's basically not um, this green right here. I need to get that, uh, need to go ahead and get that one cleaned up. And there's no fish in there right now, uh, which is probably why it's green. All right, so the next uh, tank we've got here. Uh, these are some metallic blacktail guppies. Um, I haven't gotten very many fry from these, um, but these are awesome guppies. So, if I could find the male ever, if the male would ever come out, he's actually pretty stunning. Um, but I don't see him right now. He's probably in the back. So, heading on to the next tank, uh, there's some more uh, half black. Um, any other color guppies um, and then finally uh, there's some uh, bumblebee platies in here and then some more of those um, half black any other color that's the male so basically any of the bumblebee platies I couldn't put in the uh, pond uh, then these ones are some super red dumbos And then uh, let's go ahead and uh, um, flip around here. All right, so the next fish, uh, you can tell where I got them from. Uh, a little LRB. Uh, these are some um, platinum ice guppies. So. Actually, I really, the males are cool, but I actually really like the females as well. They have this like sheen to them. It's really pretty neat. Um, heading to the next tank. Uh, these are some uh, Limia nigra fasciata. Uh, I picked these up from Dan's fish as well. And I have a feeling that a lot of my Limia are actually eating the fry. Um, I saw them, uh, the uh, Perugier, chase uh, one of the fry earlier, so, yeah, sorry about that drain, guys. So, and then the next one of these, the best guppies in the world, which are, of course, in the back. So, I don't know if we can get them with this, with this uh, camera or not. All right. Yeah, I've got a lot of fish from Dan. <laughs> so, um, here's the uh, Limia Perugia. So, another, uh, there's about six in here. There's probably a few fry floating around in here, probably up in the, uh, the hornwort up there. And then uh, these are some pretty interesting fish. Uh, these are actually from uh, Stan Schubel's fish room. Uh, so these are something called Schubel Blues. So I picked these up from uh, the Michigan uh, Guppy. Um, well, there, there was the Michigan Guppy show. And apparently I didn't realize this, but Stan Schubel was about, lived about an hour away from me. So it's pretty legitimate um, that these were uh, in his fish room, so. That's definitely something that's very well possible. So, looking forward to keeping these bred. Uh, these have not been crossed with anything. 
So definitely something to uh, that uh, you know I'm gonna keep is kind of like an heirloom strain sort of. So we're gonna head down to the bottom. Uh, we've got down here. Uh, we've got the uh, kind of a mixed bag cichlid tank. We've got some cyanochromous prior eye, uh, which is that one right there. It's the electric blue Ali. Uh, it's not colored up yet. And then um, we've got some Alanacaria, Alanacara Ethelwaini, uh, which is one of them right there. And then uh, there's some uh, Swedish Hongai um, as well in here. They're hiding in the rocks. There's one right there. Uh, we'll see some more uh, Swedish Hongai in a minute. All right, heading up to some more uh, some more Victorians. So as I stand on the couch, and they're all hiding over here in the corner. But uh, these are some uh, Ysochromis species, um, JCP2. So these are pretty rare. I found these at, an, at a uh, club auction. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're called. They're called Swedish Hongai. And then uh, these next ones um, are going to be some Haplochromis species uh, blue obliquinins that I got from uh, Gary Liu at uh, one of our club meetings. So these were juveniles. I'm just growing them out. Uh, they're probably going to go back to... Um, they're probably going to go to the tank. I'm going to do some fish moves once we get back from vacation. Uh, so those of you guys um, who maybe missed it last week, we are heading to Germany next week. So there will not be a live stream, but I'm going to try to put together a video to uh, um, get you guys, you know, get you guys something to watch uh, at the nine o'clock hour. So, and that's the dragon tank that's got the uh, blue obliquinins in it. Uh, heading down here now, uh, we've got some more uh, Tanganyikans. Uh, we've got the black calvis. There's three of those in here. Um, again, the, uh, the, the Valisneria, and then we've got, uh, drawing a blank on these guys, the uh, Cyprochromus Leptosoma Katumba. Got more, more Valisneria, if you can tell, I've got quite a bit of it. And then uh, I have the Lone Ranger up here, um, and I gotta get this guy some cover. Uh, this is the, I always blink on the name of this. God, all right, we're, we're going to skip that for a minute. Um, so these are some more of the Swedish hong eyes right here. These are a lot of the fry that I've been growing out. Um, so they're basically, so they're easier to catch for when I get the uh, BA, uh, BAP credit. Um... Why can't I not remember the name of that fish? It's starting to drive me nuts. Thank you. Yes, Pablo Chromis Pulcher. And we'll see if we can find him again. So she's, uh, and every one of the discus just hid. So hold on a second. We're gonna grab some food. We're gonna. And we're gonna sit back for a minute. And we're gonna let them come out. We've uh, we've been making them angry. So that's the discus tank. <laughs> and we'll see if they come out here in a minute. I just fed them, so we're gonna tempt them with food. So. Discus are not cooperative. We're gonna, we're gonna irritate them a little bit and get them to come out. They're literally all sitting right behind this thing right here. So we're gonna quietly, come on. There's one. Come on, move more. Well, there is a discus in here. <laughs> um, I've had that black and white calvis since November. And we'll see when the rest of the discus come out in a minute. All right, so these next tanks, um, A, have quite a bit of duckweed and are going to be kind of hard to see, but we'll go ahead and try to do them anyway. Um, I used to, but I, I'm like really anal now about tightening the bulkheads. 
so all right so we've got here uh, these are the Trophius Conwera Condegia along here that's what they're called I can't do this name very well yes more Val and more cichlids so so these are um, some, some Trophius uh, these are in like a 37 gallon cube uh, if you see they're getting along with plants so I have good luck with cichlids and valve for the most part. And then over here, uh, there's a couple of Asta tilapia ania color, which you are not going to be able to see because they're in behind the 8,000 sticks of valve. And then, if you guys can see, um, these are the goldfish right here. So my kids won these goldfish at a. Uh, and then there's some guppies that are in here for, that somehow got in here. Yeah, we've got pretty hard water here, um, Ron. Um, the discus tank, uh, according to my Apex controller. So I'll show you that real quick. But this is the probe. And right that shows about 7.9 pH. So, so, there's, so that discus tank, even with the wooden here, um, this water is about 7.9 so we've got pretty hard water it's very similar um, to like um, like Lake Malawi so we've got uh, pretty hard water here in Michigan from the, it all comes from the uh, Great Lakes and then uh, let's see we'll get back to the fish uh, these are some uh, real atop of sword tails um, so there's quite a few in here there's no val in here um, this kind of became the dumping tank. Um, Dan, I think I checked it years ago when I was doing saltwater, and I think it was about uh, 100 and uh, about 150 something. I'd have I could check it again. I have to find my TDS meter. <laughs> Where's the valve? Um, that tank doesn't have any valve. Um, I think I pulled it all out and moved it to other tanks. So this tank doesn't have Val either. So um, this is the Steel Nebula Guppies. And then uh, follow these by, there's some random, basically like red tail guppies. Um, and then these are some Limia Sulfurophylla that are in here. And then I think that is all the tanks. Now we'll see if the discus decides to like do something useful and come out here. So we'll sit back over here and we'll stalk the discus out for a minute. Now let's see if this will like zoom. Nope, no zooming. All right, so I'll give you guys kind of a, look, a quick look around here. <laughs> so kind of, this is kind of the downstairs uh, I got those tanks up there got the uh, um, got the Severums and then uh, we'll go back upstairs for some of you guys who joined late so let's go ahead and head upstairs for a minute and I'll quickly walk you guys back through that and then um, I can get a drink of water and then uh, we'll go from there. I don't think the discus are gonna cooperate. Um, hey, thanks for coming by, Ron. Um, I'll catch you on the flip side uh, once we're done here. So um, after this, uh, Ron's, like, Ron will probably be on at 10. So make sure you check out uh, Friday Fish Facts. Um, always some good uh, interviews there. Um, I try to catch uh, quite a few of them. So, all right, let's go ahead now and we'll walk back up the stairs. And um, as you were saying, there's the AC. All right, so we'll have, going back real quick, we'll head back to the desk and we'll go through the fish for anyone who missed. Uh, these are, this is a 75 with some uh, zebra obliquidins. Uh, started out with four and we have 
Um, we have them coming out of our ears. Uh, the next tank over here is um, purple ACI, random peacocks, uh, strawberry there, uh, cobalt blue in the OB. Uh, there are some Shelly's in here that's just dug it into the tank. Got some Chindago de Masonai that are in here. Uh, we're coming to the row of clownfish. Got the uh, snow, the uh, snowflake oscillaris, uh, the trisinctus, and the black snowflakes, the spot synctus, uh, the um, lighting maroon, and then got the. Uh, um, Fire Clown, the uh, Picasso, uh, the pair of tomatoes. Uh, heading on over here, we've got the Santa Maria Endlers uh, we got from Dan. Got uh, Turquoise Guppies. Um, got some uh, Cobra Endlers. And then uh, we've got the uh, Pundamilia Nairi group. Um, right now empty 54 gallon bow front. Uh, heading to the back here, we've got some uh, Scipia Francese. Uh, there's the two adults right there. Uh, we've got a bunch of fry. Then we've got the Gerard and Thictus Multiradiatus down here. Uh, these are a cold water species from Mexico. Uh, if you see, there's some fry. And then there's the male right there. Uh, walking back up over here. These, um, I'm keeping this one pretty algae filled so we can get some fry out of these. Uh, these are some Xenotoka eyes and eye. There's two females in here. Um, <clears throat> heading back through here. <clears throat> and uh, we've got the uh, Krakadon lateralis. Uh, we've got the uh, Lelupe eyes. Hey, Thirsty Rabbit. Uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, we've got... Uh, the Krakadon Audax, which are the Black Prince Gadeid. A uh, couple more, we can get them a little bit better now. Um, got the uh, Golden Teddies. And then uh, heading downstairs here, we've got the Scyphia or the Limia Vitata. Uh, we've got the uh, Mamika Splendens. Uh, turning to this way, we've got the Scyphia multipuntata, which are some of my favorites here in the fish barn. And a boatload of fry. And we've got <coughs> the uh, Trout Goodyads, the Iliadon Fersidens. Uh, heading to the bottom, we've got the um, Xenotoka Lion's Eye. Um, last two tanks. Uh, we've got the uh, Gadea Atropinus. And finally, um, the Mutt Tank of all various fish. So. So I'm gonna get a drink. So I'm gonna flip the camera back to me. So we've made it back to uh, the beginning. And we're gonna go ahead here and I'll put this back up somehow so we can. I think my kids are here. What's up? <laughs> I think 
Vic is Ben. Look at mommy. <laughs> so, hey, mommy. Show them the signs. Here, what do you have? Some papers for you. We took the recycling, recycling. out and brought in the mail. You're welcome. Thank also, you. Subscribe, subscribe to Slime Doctors with the two sisters. sisters. No spaces. Hit the bell, too. Thank you. <laughs> we will be the slime ghosts. <laughs> All right, uh, kids. I think we're good. Can I share ten dollars now? No, I'll get. Tell him he wants us to. S comment down below if you want us to stay. Uh, we're almost done. We gotta be done in eight minutes anyway. So we can stay for the last eight minutes. So. Um, have I ever kept red arc pencil fish? I have not. So, so what do you guys think of the uh, the fish barn? It's messy. It's smelly. It's not messy and smelly. It's smelly, and we had to do work for him for his stupid fish barn. We cleaned all his cages so we get or cages tanks so we get ten bucks. Yeah. Um, I was gonna work from home today and life. <laughs> Yeah. So, what do you guys? So, what are your names? Uh, Chelsea. Uh, Katie. So, what have you been doing all summer? Playing swimming. With You've been swimming and playing with friends. What's yeah. your favorite fish in the fish barn? The discus and goldfish. Can you go the show biscuit. them? Go the show them your favorite fish. All right, let's it's go. It's called the biscuit. Whoa. So, um, um, I'm going to show you, like, the truth. Like, it's so messy, you know? Ow, I stepped on something. Ow. That. Me. I stepped on my skin. See, she stepped on a hammer. Just hammer laying randomly around here. That's so bad. All right. But, like, okay. Just, how do you, how do we turn you guys around? I don't really know. But, look at this couch. And he said it's not messy. Look at his floor. It's so disgusting. Anyways, um, more floor. Yeah. Okay, so these are the discus, which are mining, uh, they're hiding. Come on, come out, fishies. All right, and there's huge goldfish that me and Katie won at a church fair. I don't know if you see them in there. Hey, why did he put guppies in there with them? We never get to approve his ideas. What? He said, is she just trash in his, my barn? It was already like this. I was already trash, you trash. All right, I want to, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I was cleaning this tank earlier. Or was it, what tank was it? Yeah, this tank. And I didn't know there was a fish in it. And it was way more dirty. Where's the fish? I swear there is a fish in here. And he looks really mean. He looked like he was going to bite me. Anyways, I don't know where he Maybe is, but hiding. I was scared to clean it. Yeah. Oh, look at all those. You, you guys see, I think it's an angelfish. I don't know, really. But anyways, um, we also chose that one out. We the chose the discus. Fish. We chose the discus and the angelfish. First, day, first of uh, all, Chelsea thought they were called discuses. Yeah, when I first discuses. saw, because we, I guess... He let us go on this like website or something. He let us go on a website or something to choose like a fish and we chose discus and we kept calling them discuses. Mike, your kids are awesome. You are a cool dad. Think of ki king and queen chicklets. I'm pretty sure that's right. I don't really know. Oh, I missed this tank. Oopsies. All right, I'm going to, uh, dang it. All right, well. There's, like, nothing else. All right, have you guys seen his door yet? He did that because apparently too much um, air was coming into the barn. And now, all right, listen to it. It barely even shuts and opens. See? Annoying. 
Okay, um, comment down below if you hate putting your hands in fish tanks because I was having trouble getting stuff off and instead of using... One minute! And instead of using like this thing, I had to use like a scraper. And I, it, I felt really nasty after. They're requesting, requesting, requesting me to come back, so I must go. Hey, Dad, the um, king and queen of chicklets, or how do you say that? Chicklets, said, chicklets. See, said, see, we need our kids to do a tour and give us the real truth. Yeah, Dad. All right, we're back. Get me out of here. So, Katie wants <laughs> to get me out of here. It is seriously so hot. Like, he needs <laughs> some AC. He needs some AC. There is AC in here. That's not, not good AC. Well, you know. So, all right. Do you guys want to see a dead fish? No, the dead fish got put away. We lost a fish the other day, so. No, it was this morning. Yeah, I know. So. All right, guys. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, so um, if you guys uh, like this, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, ding the like bell, uh, the notification bell. Also, do this and subscribe, subscribe to the Slime, Slime Doctors. Doctors. New um, videos be coming shortly, hopefully. <laughs> so maybe one day I'll have them do a tour um, themselves. Shall we do a real through? with um with me editing it i showed them your couch <laughs> yeah the couch needs a little work um i think he fully destroyed it a white couch now has like mud, Mar on. mud and stuff yeah i know so all right guys uh, head up head over to friday fish facts um we have to put the uh slime doctors to bed no we don't no, we don't we stay up till like 10 o'clock at night because it's late and they need to go to their no we don't need to go to bed you what do you think you are, a mouse? <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Um, have a good Remember, one. Subscribe. Okay. I should have, I should have candy ban you guys. Hey, who? Candy the mod. Who's candy? <laughs> Mike's fish bar and frat house. Yeah, for sure. Make sure you show them that one more time. All right. Well, adios. I don't think it's on. See you. <laughs> yes, sweaty.